Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we will see how to deploy Next.js application on Vercel hosting platform. So Vercel is a platform for front-end developers like you can deploy your front-end applications uh, from uh, like uh, it can be from any of the framework like Next.js, React, uh, Vue, Angular and so on. So once you sign up uh, to the Vercel platform uh, like uh, uh, this is my uh, dashboard. So let's get to the uh, documentation. So in order to create Next.js application, we need uh, uh, Node.js, right? Uh, so go ahead and install Node.js. So let's use this command to create uh, application on our local machine. Let's give the name of the project. Uh, since it is a demo, I'm not going with the uh, TypeScript. Let's choose no. Okay. Let's choose uh, no. So I'm going with the default options. So please choose according to your requirement. Since it is a, a demo deployment, I'm just going with the default options. Alright, so the project is created. So let's go ahead and uh, set up the repository on GitHub. Let's create a new one. So I'm just giving the same name. Let's use uh, public and create the repo. Okay, let's add this uh, commands. Let's execute it. So we have to change the directory first. So you can see we already have an initial commit from the uh, creation setup. So let's go ahead and push this code. So we have a repo on GitHub. Let's go to the dashboard now. So we need to uh, click on create new project. So we need to select, uh, so we have to import, uh, right? Uh, so we have to select an GitHub account. So from here, you can uh, either choose all repositories or you can uh, specifically select one repo. So I'm going with this one. So I need to select my repository. So this is the one that I have created uh, just now. Okay. So Let's give the permission and continue. All right, now it has uh, uh, showed uh, the repo here. So let's click on import. So now, uh, so this is the project name. Okay, so uh, frame, framework. Okay, so build and output settings. Like it will uh, use uh, the default commands. In case you want to override, you can go ahead and select this one. So I'm going with the default uh, uh, options which are fine for us for now so uh, in case if you have any environment variables you you can uh, provide here so uh, currently i'm not giving any uh, uh, variables so i'm just going with the default options let's click on deploy let's wait for a few seconds uh, and we can uh, check the uh, you know deployed link so in the meantime, like uh, let's uh, uh, talk about the environment variables. As you can see, uh, Next.js support built-in uh, support for uh, environment variables. You don't need to install any .env package or so. Uh, you know, in order to use the uh, uh, environment variables, like you can create .env .local file, and if you want to expose uh, variables to the browser, you you need to add a prefix uh, next underscore public. So you can see the example they have given uh, if you create a .env.local file and in inside that you, if you mention some variables uh, like this. So this will automatically add into your uh, Node.js environment right server side. 
so inside get static props get server side props and uh, you know inside those methods you will be able to access the variables like uh, by using process.env so in case like you want to expose the variables to the client side uh, you know so in that case you need to uh, prefix a variable with uh, next underscore public and then you need to uh, give your uh, variable names and uh, these variables can be accessed both on the client side as well as uh, in your uh, server uh, methods okay based on the use case like you can go ahead and create uh, different files in general you only need a uh, one file however uh, you know in case like in, in development uh, you can go ahead and create one with dot uh, tnv and uh, again for the production if you want you can uh, you know differentiate like this all right so let's verify okay so the deployment uh, is completed let's go to the dashboard so you can see uh, we have a, a you know a link so that we can verify okay now uh, you can see that uh, basic nextjs application so i will simulate a, a feature uh, branch scenario so let's go ahead and so currently we are in the main branch so i'm go i will go ahead and create a new feature branch okay so let's open vs code in uh, page.js file uh, inside app uh, i'm going to make some changes okay let's save the changes right let's add to the staging area let's commit okay we have to push uh, this feature branch now to the remote origin So now we have a feature branch uh, that is pushed. So if you observe the deployment dashboard, you can see it has uh, detected the feature branch uh, update as well. And let's go ahead and uh, raise a pull request now. Okay, create pull request. Okay, now you can observe once we raise the pull request, it has uh, uh, you know created a preview, uh, you know preview URL, uh, so that you can verify your feature changes on a uh, preview uh, domain for your particular project so uh, this is really nice once this is good uh, you can go ahead and merge i'm just confirming okay it has been added okay let's wait and see So you can see it is currently building the merge request. Uh, so since we have a uh, uh, you know uh, pushed to the main branch, so now it is going to build using that uh, merge. So now let's refresh the page. Okay, so the chain has been reflected on the main branch. So, that, so that's all uh, for this uh, demo. Uh, so uh, here we have uh, seen how to deploy Next.js application on. Marcel hosting platform.
thank you for watching we will come up with another video until then take care bye